Hi everybody, good morning to Corn More number 21. I'm doing it outside, I actually feel like I don't have to do anything. It's so humid out here today, I think we just can stand here and drip. But the good news is we just have 15 minutes, so 15 minutes is like that. Let's start, come on to all fours on your mat, and then tuck your toes, breathe in, and lift your knees up about two inches into our wonderful bear plank. Keep breathing, deep breath in, deep breath out, press your hands firmly into the earth, wrists, elbows, shoulders aligned, core engaged, lifting your belly button up towards your spine. Deep breath in, deep breath out, maybe even close your eyes. Think about you're doing something else right now, you're not doing this. Let your mind not get in the way of you holding this. Keep breathing. Bring yourself into a bear plank meditation. Only kidding. Next exhale, shift into downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, deep breath in, deep breath out. And then with your next inhale, step your right foot forward, open your chest, and then exhale back to a dog. Inhale, left foot forward, open your chest, exhale, dog, keep alternating, right foot with your breath, exhale, left foot, exhale, right, left, you might be saying, what's she doing here? We're about to move into a Kriya that works your core, works your hips, works a lot of things in your body. Just keep doing this, keep breathing. Don't think too much about it. Don't think about, I'm getting tired, I'm getting sweaty. Because again, if you're like me and you're outside, you walked outside and you were sweaty. Keep breathing. All right, so you've got your left foot forward. Now, exhale, jump switch, and jump switch, and jump switch, lifting your chest each time. Jump switch, jump switch, stay light, breathe, breathe. And drop to your knees and press into child's pose. Oh. Breathing slowly, trying to catch your breath if you're out of breath. And then inhale, come up onto all fours and bring yourself into a plank. Hang out in your plank, breathing. Shifting forward, shifting back. Plank should be pretty easy, or easier at this point. And then turn your hands in 30 degrees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly hover. Inhale, lift. Tricep chaturanga push-ups. Press back on the balls of your feet. Exhale, inhale. Don't use your hips to come down, use your core. Inhale, two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Turn your hands around, walk your feet all the way back to the back of your mat. Hover there in a forward bend for a moment. Breathe. Let your head hang and then slowly bring yourself up to standing. Moving on to Uddiyana breath, which we don't do that often. So I always say, I kind of remember when I was this kid and I was a tomboy and I would always hold my, my belly in and I would see my ribs sticking out, right? And I'd have this like hollow, you know, hole. I, who knew that that was Uddiyana breathing? I had no clue. So bring your hands on top of your legs. Just start by taking a breath in through your nose. Take a breath out through your nose. 
Take a breath in through your nose. Take a breath out through your nose. Now the next time after you exhale out through your nose, we'll fold forward a little bit and then pull your belly button back as far as you can so you go back to that when I was a kid, let me show you my ribs type of move and just pause, okay? Here we go, take a breath in. Exhale fully. Fold part way. And after you let all your exhale out, pull your belly button back, expose those ribs, feel it. Relaxing your shoulders. Don't talk like I am, it's not easy. No breath. And then slowly release your belly. Inhale, stand up. Take a breath in through your nose. Take a breath out through your nose. Take a breath in through your nose. Take a breath out through your nose. One more round, here we go, breathing in. Breathing out fully and fold forward a little bit. And pull. Pull your belly button all the way back. Expose those lower ribs. Release your belly. Inhale, sit up or stand up. And then take a breath in, breath out. Just notice what you feel. Notice if you feel a little fire that got started, you probably did. Take one foot in front of the other. Inhale your arms out in front. Exhale, sit down. Just love to do this, see where you are. Here we go. And now plant your feet, stirring the risotto, one hand on top of the other, sit up tall. And then exhale. Go back around to the right, all the way through, coming back up, and again, exhale. So what we're not doing is we're not moving our legs, okay? So you want your legs to stay still. And that's how you know your core is engaged, breathing. I cannot believe how humid it is out here. I am so soaked. It's like I just took a shower, keep breathing. And then other side. And I think Monday and Tuesday are going to be worse. Keep breathing, deep breath in. Deep breath out, deep breath in, exhaling, coming all the way through. Feel this in your core, awesome. From here, straighten your legs, hands by your side, flex your feet. Inhale, lift your bottom up, walk your heels back, VL sit, breathe. So it's the same kind of feeling as that Uddiyana breath, pulling your belly button back. Breathe, gaze towards your navel. Exhale, lower down. Make your way onto your back. Plant your feet, just take a pause. And then breathe in, lift your knees up right over your hips, arms by your side, palms facing each other. Inhale, lift your head up, moving into else or to core cultivation, then I'll have something new afterwards. And then slowly straighten your legs out, keeping your spine flat into the earth. Breathe. Deep breath in, gazing towards your thighs. Deep breath out. Feel your spine pressing down. This should be fully in your core. Again, if it's in your back, you pull your legs in a little bit. Breathe. And then exhale. Give yourself a hug. Boy, I feel like I am in the hottest hot yoga class ever right now. Bring yourself back into a position like we're gonna do core cultivation, but inhale your arms up to the sky. Keep them there. Keep your knees together. Press your spine into the earth. And then slowly exhale, press your right foot, hover it off the floor like two inches. And then inhale, bring it back. You're not moving anything else. And exhale, left. Keep your spine pressing into the earth. 
inhale, come back. It's the move from Pilates, I think it's great. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back, keep your spine down. If you wanna make it a little tougher, inhale, lift your head up and look, but keep your arms where they are. Exhale. Inhale, come up. So be very mindful that you're not moving anything else. One more time. Each side. I think I need to go to my left one more to even it out. Okay. Hug your knees. Boy, did I feel that. Inhale, rock up. Straighten your legs out. Finishing up with hip flexor triangles. Sit up tall. Breathe in, lift your right foot up a couple inches. Exhale it out to the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hover. Out to the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hover. Keep going. Breathe. So it's exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale, hover. You can take an extra inhale if you want or a long exhale that gets you coming down and out to the side. It's your choice. Breathe. Two more. Other side. Breathe in, lift your left foot up a couple inches. Exhale it out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hover. Breathe. Keep it going. I'll tell you, I just think these are so incredible. I took a two and a half mile run yesterday. I had zero aches and pains. My knees are not feeling it. My quads aren't feeling it. My hamstrings aren't feeling it. And I really attribute it to strengthening my hip flexors. So that's pretty cool. I went bike riding this morning. I still feel good. And exhale, lower down. Inhale your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, sit up. Find a comfortable seat. However that is, just bring your hands to your legs. Shoulders relax. Gaze down your nose. I invite you to close your eyes. Feel the connection between your bottom and the earth. Breathing slowly, letting everything integrate within yourself, balancing yourself out from the rigor to now the calm. And the thing that's so awesome is when we use our breath even if something's super hard, you really focus on our breath and activate our prana, our life force, our energy, hard things become so much less effort. We don't have to struggle. I think that's a super gift from yoga. Breathe in, bring your hands together in front of your heart center. Thank you so much for joining today. And we won't have core and more next Sunday because at eight o'clock, uh, I'm really thrilled to be part of We Are Change Yoga, which is all day yoga. Check it out on Instagram. And uh, I'll be teaching the first class in the morning for 45 minutes on Instagram. Take care, everyone. Bye.